spend some money to bring more money in to get that flow going. That's one way of circulating, absolutely. But there are so many ways of circulating, even if it were, for example, like I'll give you a funny example. There was an episode of Seinfeld the that demonstrated the opposite. That's exactly what I was thinking earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Costanza. Where, yes. Yeah, where he says, if I make choices opposite of George Costanza, I'm going to have experiences opposite of George Costanza. So he, he instead of t- instead of tuna on toast, he orders chicken salad on rye. Instead of coffee, he gets tea, and all of a sudden his luck turns around. So now that's he, an exaggerated. He, he goes from well, he goes from being a, a quote unquote loser, you could say, yeah, to yeah. end up working for the New York Yankees right right next to the the president of the company. Absolutely, and there is. Is a great amount of truth to that. The problem with the old law of attraction is that people are trying to attract specific outcomes, which creates an, an attachment to outcome. What we are looking at is indirect manifestation. Mm-hmm. So indirect manifestation says, if I'm having a feeling or I'm visualizing a certain reality, it's because it's already been created in time and space. And the way I bring it to me, in whatever way it's meant to bring it to me, is I have to circulate new energy into my life. Again, the other tactic on spirituality is people find the blockages, and they're trying to get rid of the blockages instead of seeing that you can't get rid of a pattern of stagnation you can only create a new pattern of circulating energy and a new pattern of higher vibrating circular energy example example please okay so an example is instead of someone like you talked about going to the gym yeah right and so let's say someone goes to the gym because they feel like they're out of shape The traditional spiritual approach will be like, what happened in my past that causes me to not feel good enough about myself to get out of shape or whatever the judgment is? The reality is you don't look for the source of why I'm in this shape. You look at what is the choice that will circulate new energy into this form. And the answer is cardiovascular exercise circulates energy on a physical level. Saying I love you to the one who doesn't feel worthy or who hides in the in in the um, imbalance form mm-hmm. circulates energy on an emotional level. Uh, going and exercising circulates energy. So we're not looking at what's the reason for the problem. We're looking at what are the new choices I can make that brings the solution to life. And so it's always about a circulation of energy that is that is created by making new choices. It's literally as if the universe will start paying you and rewarding you with miraculous aligned experiences at the rate at which any area of your life invites a certain amount of variety. Just like with food, we rotate throughout the seasons. Mm -hmm. So if we find in our lives the areas where are we doing the same old thing, and if there could be a resolution for 2016, perhaps the objective while taking our time, is simply answering this question. What am I willing to do today in order to make today unlike yesterday? Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, like below. Also, leave your comments. Have some real fun with it. Subscribe to our channel where you're going to get more great videos, more interviews coming up. And check out our website, inspirenationshow.com. That's where you'll find tips, blogs, information, videos you won't find anywhere else, and useful and helpful resources to really help you kickstart your life and to shine bright. Thanks so much again. Thank you for your support. Like, 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 comment, subscribe. See the website. Thanks so much and have fun. Of course, shine bright. Woohoo! <laughs>